Hi everyone, welcome back to Cooking With Me. Today I am going to be teaching you how to make homemade Reese's peanut butter cups. You only need three things, about a cup of chocolate chips. For this recipe, I'm using dark chocolate. You'll need half a teaspoon of an oil. I'm using coconut oil. This just helps to melt down the chocolate chips. And then you will need peanut butter or almond butter. Today I'm using almond butter. So this recipe makes about 12 servings, so you will need 12 foil baking cups. Okay guys, so to begin, I'm going to take half a teaspoon of the coconut oil and I'm going to throw that in the bowl with the chocolate chips. Once you're done with that, we're going to throw it in the microwave for about 15 seconds then I'm going to take it out and then mix it all together. And then you can see here that I have my spoon and I'm just trying to make sure that every chocolate chip is coated, looks wet from the coconut oil. Once they look good, I'm going to throw them back in the microwave and heat them again for 15 seconds. I'm just going to repeat this step and mixing it, making sure that um, all the chocolate chips are fully melted. This is the consistency that we're looking for for our chocolate base. So once you get it looking like this, you're ready to go. The next thing we're going to do is lay out the 12 baking liners. Once we get them all in line, I'm going to take a small scoop of the chocolate and place it in each of the baking liners. Once we get chocolate in each of the cups, I'm just going to take my spoon and I'm going to coat the whole bottom to where the circle's fully covered, like this. Once we get them all done, we're going to take all of them and put them in the fridge to cool and settle for about five minutes. Once you take the chocolates out of the fridge, you can start putting the peanut butter on without it getting super messy from um, the chocolate because now it is solid. And I'm just going to take a little scoop and kind of smooth it around. I don't want it too, I don't want too much and I don't want it to be too chunky. You might have also noticed that I put this on a cutting board. I just did that so it's easier to transfer the chocolate chips from the fridge to um, where I'm putting them together. So now I'm just going back and I'm smoothing out the peanut butter. You don't want it to be too chunky or um, the peanut butter to go too high in the cup because when you go back and put the chocolate on top, it just won't be even. Once I'm finished with that, I'm going to go back to the chocolate, mix it up a little bit, and then I'm just going to do a top coat on each of them. And I'm not doing too much, just a thin layer. Now once I get chocolate in each of the cups, I'm just going to take my spoon, and like we did for the first um, layer of chocolate, I'm going to smooth it around and make sure it's covering all of the peanut butter. Once you get the top layer of chocolate, your peanut butter cups should look like this, fully coated where you can't see any peanut butter. So it's the next day and I wanted to just show you guys what they look like. I let them chill overnight and they turned out really good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make peanut butter cups at home. The thing I like the most is that you get to kind of make them how you like them. If you can't have peanut butter, you can switch it out for almond butter or different kinds. But you can also do uh, dark chocolate. You can probably like do like a hazelnut type. You guys could get really creative with that. 
Um, so yeah, these are my favorite desserts and I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make them. Thanks. Bye.